What's up guys? Today's video is on the best budget mic. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers, so whether it's price performance or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. At number 9. IC Multimedia iRig Mic HD2. The perfect budget mic for broadcasting, podcasting and field recording. IC Multimedia has always been ahead of the curve when it comes to creating devices which work well with smartphones and tablets. With the IC Multimedia iRig Mic HD2. There exists arguably the best microphone for using with these devices, packing in plenty of useful features access through the accompanying app selection. The iRig Mic HD2 has proven particularly popular with broadcasters and journalists, as they require only the mic and a phone to capture high-quality audio. At number 8. Audio-Technica AT2020. An insane value-for-money condenser mic that's great on vocals. The Audio-Technica AT2020 has gotten many plaudits for its open and natural tone, which at this price point is really quite impressive. For use on vocals, pianos, and for capturing room ambience it performs remarkably well. You can even use it on a guitar cab to go alongside the more traditional dynamic mic sound too. It's got loads of warmth in the lower mid-range. So it will flatter your vocalist immensely. As well as working on a wide range of vocal ranges. It's got a subtle peak in the high end that adds some air. But never pushes past that into harsh sibilance territory. It rejects off-axis sound remarkably well. And when we tried it on acoustic guitar gave us a great sound. It's not the quietest mic around and Audio-Technica has emitted a shock mount to keep costs down. But it's built to the same standard as Ott's heftier priced mics making it a worthy addition for the sound engineer on a budget. At number 7. IC Multimedia iRig Mic Studio. USB connectivity make this the ideal podcast mic. Not every recording situation is musical. And in the IC Multimedia iRig Studio there exists a superb entry-level microphone for recording podcasts. E-books and voiceovers. The iRig Mic Studio connects to your laptop or mobile device using USB. Which makes it simple to get recording in no time. Okay. The iRig isn't the best microphone for vocals or instruments. But if you are in the market for a well-built, simple mic to record or stream speech then you could do a lot worse for the money. At number 6. SE Electronics A7. Small diaphragm condenser is great for precision. Small diaphragm condenser microphones are great choices where there is a specific tonality you're looking to recreate perfectly on your recordings. It could be cymbals, or acoustic guitar strings, or anything where you're not looking to color a sound too much at the point of recording. The SE Electronics A7 is an ideal choice here, where the small diaphragm makes for a neutral, balanced sound that lets the instrument shine. At number 5. AKG P120. A versatile cheap mic workhorse from respected brand. You're on a budget but need a versatile, well-made mic that can work equally well across a range of applications then the AKG P120 might just be perfect. As a jack-of-all-trades condenser, the P120 is at home recording vocals, instruments and other sources and provides a balanced, clear sound. It's not a bad shout buying from a big name either AKG is a well-respected brand in the mic world. So you know you're getting quality across both the construction and the sound. At number 4. Shure SM58. Vocal specialist half-brother of the 57. While an SM57 can do vocals. And do them well if you're a singer you probably want something more readily equipped to your needs. Thankfully. Shure has you covered. The Shure SM58 is the vocal equivalent of the SM57 and features the same tough construction and reliability but with a slight tweak in its frequency response meaning it enhances mid and upper frequencies to let your voice sing, so to speak. SM58s excel in the live arena. Where their ruggedness means they can survive all manner of abuse and still sound as good as the day you got it. Meaning you don't need to buy twice. Saving you money in the long run. At number 3. MXL 990 Condenser Microphone. Large diaphragm condenser delivers studio magic. Recording acoustic instruments. Like guitars or pianos. Requires a special microphone to pick up all that natural goodness in the sound. Condenser microphones excel at this where the extra precision helps you capture accurate, rich tones in a way dynamic mics can't. The MXL 990 is one such mic. Its large diaphragm ensures the captured sounds have color and flavor which, for the price tag, are hard to beat. At number 2. Shure MV7. The best budget mic for computer and studio recording. The Shure MV7 is a new entry in the list. 
combining the best of USB recording with traditional XLR capabilities into one of the best budget USB microphones around. The bundled app. Motive. Adds real value to the package. Allowing you to select from a number of preset tones making it ideal for podcasters and streamers. We also like the auto level feature. Which greatly reduces the risk of accidentally clipping your recordings. It is. It should be said. Not strictly a cheap microphone but for the price you get a superbly thought out. Fully featured microphone that will serve you for years to come. At number 1. Sure SM57. This Hall of Famer is still going strong, a fantastic cheap mic. If you've seen a band play live in the last 30 years. Or listen to any music at all in that time. Then the chances are you've heard the results of a Shure SM57 microphone. Put simply. They are the best known and most widely used dynamic microphones out there. And it just happens to be cheap as chips. Although primarily an instrument mic. They excel in pretty much any situation. The tight pickup pattern means they receive sound only from one direction and reject it from immediately around it. Hence, they're great for snare drums. Or guitar amplifiers. Or anything where you need to capture a specific source. Simply point it and forget it. Happy days. Thanks for watching. For more details, follow the links given below in the description section. And if you are new here, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon.